This is Little Katie, welcoming you to my top 10 list of why Bro Forest is the best indie platformer game I have ever played. Kicking off at number 10, we have Heavy Metal. The music really adds immersion to the experience of the game, getting your adrenaline going, warming you up to just go completely nuts. Number nine, flexing. Oh yeah, show those guns. Number eight, level editor. This is great for people who've played through the levels or just enjoy being creative. This was a really smart feature to have while it was in development. You know, it gave people something else to do so they wouldn't get bored. Like, if you've played through all the stuff that they had done already, kept people still interested in the game, and you can even play other people's levels online. Number seven, Murka. Oh, that starts to make a banner. It brings a single tear to my eye. Seriously, I don't think I've ever seen this done in a way that everybody can enjoy. Like, yeah, they went there, and I ain't even mad, bro. Are we like the good guys? That's a good question. That's funny, that's actually a pretty loaded question. Are we the good guys? Number 666. Six, six. Satan. What would America be without a disdain for Satan? He seems pretty harmless. Even kinda cute. But just wait until you go to hell. Number 5. Art. It's hard to believe that this was just a little independent team of developers because the art is like Nintendo top tier shit. I mean seriously. The colors, the background, all the little, the little details. I just really love it. You know, there's a lot of times where I played an independent platformer game and, you know, the colors were just too, too bland or clashing or weird and it really it took me out of like enjoying the game and I love how bright and colorful this game is it's it's just really nice and the cutscenes the two different styles that they have going on it really works and I, I really I really enjoy looking at it Save me. number four multiplayer you can play with friends and it's a lot of fun yes. yeah what <laughs> Your guy is like dancing. <laughs> Dude, he stuck a toothpick up his nose. No, it's it's solo. Watch out. Speaking of fun, number three, fun. This game is so fun. The reward punishment system is perfect. They nailed it. It provides challenge, but you don't get so discouraged that you just want to put it down. And the countless little details that make it funny, you're gonna find yourself laughing out loud at it whether you're playing by yourself or with friends. Number two, parodies. So many characters. Each one has his own special ability, and you get to play them all randomly. The fact that they all work in any given situation is pretty awesome, but that means that you have to think about which ability is gonna work best. That really prevents the game from getting mind-numbing and repetitive. The only exception are the levels that are made specifically for a certain character, and those are really cool. Plus, they parody characters from really badass movies. Doesn't get more badass than that. Last, but not least, number one, Free Lives. I am so impressed with this team. They managed to make a game that works, looks awesome, is loads of fun, add something new on updates, and they did this over a three-year period. The discipline that they must have had to plan ahead and start simple so people could just sit down and actually play it. Was pretty seriously hard. They stuck to their guns for a long stretch of time. That is something to be extremely proud of. You know, have a sauna, I talk about it, chill out, decide whether it's a good idea or not. Then it wouldn't be trying to add things like newspapers and YouTubers. Like me? Around the world. 
able to experience the completed Rosewater experience for the first time. Hats off to this group of talented people. Well, that's it for my Bro Force Top 10 video. And if you want to support the developers and other independent artists, you can buy a shirt like this on their website. This is one I'm wearing right now. Check it out. It has an eagle. I bought one of these off the website. And it fits really nice. I really like the fabric. I really like it a lot. So, if you like this t-shirt, you can buy one. And you can pick it in different colors. And if you like this video, you can keep tuning in. This is little Katie. Peace and out.